the lesson, multiply fractions by whole numbers. It says, a fish tank can support three fish. If a fish bowl can support one fourth the number of fish as a fish tank, how many fish can the bowl support? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. Well, I know that we can multiply three by one fourth to get our answer. However, it would make it easier if I were to write it as three over one because the value of that is still three, but now multiplying is much easier. So one fourth of three, let's see what that is. Three times one is three, and one times four is four. So it looks as though the fish bowl can support three fourths of a fish. Daniel and his friend Kayla are running partners. If Daniel runs nine miles, and Kayla runs half the distance of Daniel, how far does Kayla run? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. So Daniel runs nine miles and Kayla runs one half the distance of Daniel. I know that I can figure out this answer by multiplying these numbers together. To make it easier, I'm going to write nine over one, which is nine whole. So it is the same value as nine, it is just written as a fraction. Nine whole times one half is equal to nine times one is nine and one times two is two. Now if I have nine halves, I definitely have more than one whole. So now I need to simplify my fraction. So nine over two, we need to see how many times two will go into nine. Let's see, two, four, six, eight. That was four times, so there are four whole, and then since it was eight, and nine is up here, we need to take away eight from nine, and there would be one left. So that means it's four whole and one half. I'm going to show you why this works. If we have halves, in this case, we had nine halves. So if I were to color them in, each one is just going to have a mark so we know that those are filled. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine halves. If I divide that by two, it will tell me how many, how many whole I have. I have one, two, three, four whole as shown here and one half left over. All right, so our final answer was four and a half. Mia bakes a cake using two boxes of ingredients. If she wants to bake a cake that is three-fourths the size of the first cake, how many boxes of ingredients will Mia need? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. So if she has two boxes and we need to multiply that by three-fourths, I'm going to do two over one, since that is still two whole, times three-fourths. Two times three is six, and one times four is four. So we would have six-fourths. So again, if we need to draw a picture, we could split each of these into fourths and color in six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now when we say how many times will four go into six, it's because we want to know how many whole we can make. In this case, we can make one whole because four will go in one time and there will be two left over. So two fourths. All right, one and two fourths. Well, I can see that two fourths is also equal to one half. If I divide the top and bottom by two, it will turn into one and one half. All right, so our final answer is one and one half. A large box of waffle cones contains five cones, and a small box of waffle cones contains three-fourths as many cones. How many waffle cones are in a small box? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. Well, we have five, as we can write five over one. We're going to multiply that by three-fourths. 
we will end up with 5 times 3 is 15. 1 times 4 is 4. Well, now I can say, okay, how many times will 4 go into 15? Let's count by 4s. 4, 8, 12. 3 times. Well, I know that 15 minus those 12 would be 3, so I would have 3 fourths left over. 3 and 3 fourths. There's our answer. An adult cat can eat 4 pounds of cat food a week. If a kitten can only eat half as much as an adult cat, how much cat food can a kitten eat in a week? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. So I'll write 4 as 4 over 1 because that is like 4 whole, and I'll multiply that by 1 half. 4 times 1 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. 4 halves. Well, how many times will 2 go into 4? Yeah, 2 times. So 2 whole, and then how many would be left over? None, because as we count by 2s, 2, 4, we got exactly to 4, so 2 fits into 4 perfectly, 2 times. So our answer is 2. Hannah grows 8 inches over the summer. If her brother grows 3 fourths that amount, how much did Hannah's brother grow that summer? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. So 8 over 1 times 3 over 4. 8 times 3 is 24. 1 times 4 is 4. How many times will 4 fit into 24? Let's count. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. That was six times, and we got right to 24, so there's nothing left over, so it is just six whole. During a week, Abigail writes enough to go through four lead pencils. How many pencils will she go through in half the time? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. Well, if she has four that she goes through, and then we want to know how many she would go through in one half the time? We're going to multiply this by one half. Four times one is four. One times two is two. How many times will two go into four? Two times, so it is two whole, and there is nothing left over. So our answer is two. During the week, Tyler writes enough to go through two lead pencils. How many pencils will he go through in two thirds of the time? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. So we can write it as 2 over 1 times 2 thirds. So 2 times 2 is 4, 1 times 3 is 3, so 4 thirds. All right, well, I know 3 thirds is 1 whole, because 3 will go into 4 1 time, so that's 1 whole. And then we had 1 left over, because 3 thirds is 1, so 4 thirds is 1 more third than that, so it is 1 and 1 third. Emma and her friend Benjamin are running partners. If Emma runs seven miles and Benjamin runs one half the distance of Emma, how far does Benjamin run? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. So if he runs seven miles, that would be seven over one. She runs half the distance, let's multiply seven by one half. Seven times one is seven. One times two is two. How many times will two go into seven? Two, four, six, that was three times. And we didn't quite get to seven, we had one left over, so that is three and one half. During the week, Darren writes enough to go through ten lead pencils. How many pencils will he go through in three-fourths of the time? Simplify your answer and write it as a proper fraction or a mixed number. Well, we can write it as ten whole times three-fourths. Now we have ten times three is thirty. And 1 times 4 is 4. Well, how many times will 4 go into 30? Let's see. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Ah, so it is 7 times, so 7 whole. And then 30 minus 28 would be 2, so we would have 2 fourths left over. Well, now we can reduce this fraction even more. We can divide the top and bottom by 2. 
So now we have seven and two divided by two is one, four divided by two is two. Seven and one half, our answer is right here. Wonderful work.